What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and it is time to test the male Water and Sun. He was just released, he's obviously very OP, and I want to see how he does in the arena, Valley of Conquerors, Guild Conquest, and against bosses, so let's dive in. But first, download Jumpstone Legends, a mobile RPG puzzle match game. Use the link in the description to start with free stuff, including a bonus hero. All right, so I'm gonna talk about how I built Mail Water and Sun first. Then I'm gonna talk about team synergy and positioning, and then we're just gonna go in and try to own some opponents. So you can see here, I got the Mail Water and Sun up to 14 stars. There is only 14 vigor on him at this moment. And uh, you can see here he's level 559, although I did pre-record some of the videos. So he was somewhere between 540 to, you know, 560 here. Uh, as far as traits go, um, I went with the ones I said I was going to go with in my uh, breakdown video. So make sure you go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet, because I give a lot of great detail about how to build this. Um, and uh, so I put focused on, brutal, devout. And yes, I know it's only level 19 because I didn't max out my ace on companion, but I'm going to work on that. Uh, and then uh, I've got honorable on there too, just to prevent him from uh, taking more damage. Now, I like honorable on this build. That's one I think you have some play with depending on what you want to do. Maybe some people will go for fierce or some other clan trait. That's okay. That's fine. I just like honorable on healing because it's hard to take the HP away from him in the first place when he has honorable. So whenever he keeps healing, it's just that much harder. And especially when it's on the other teammates as well, it makes it really, really, really difficult for your opponent to win. Let's stretch Water and Sun's legs a little bit with this first matchup in the arena. I am facing an opponent that has 9 million more power. However, I do have some of the more meta pieces than they have. Um, they have a couple level 700s. So do I. Mine happen to be Bloodcraft champions. They do have a level 700 Phoenix over there. Um, as well as a Devala, and they have a male Ho. So it is going to be a tough matchup, especially since they're uh, generally leveled higher and they're probably more Vigor over there. I don't have a lot of Vigor on my uh, male Water and Sun. Um, but let me tell you about how I set my team up here generally so that you know um, when I'm going into matchups, the positioning and things like that and why I made the choices I made. Um, I, I did put my Water and Sun in the middle, and I think I'm going to try and keep him there to protect him a little bit. Uh, because even though there's not a male bloom in this matchup, I am fearful that male bloom will come assassinate him if I put him in the back. So that's why I put my level 700s in the back to just try and absorb that blow a little bit. Um, and they have more vigor too than my water and sun. So I'm hoping that male bloom goes after them and not the water and sun. I have my female Selfos in the front, even though she's a lower level too, like only 521. Uh, she sprays her ink when she um, gets hit. So I want her to get hit. So she'll spray that. And I'm hoping that the male water and sun will keep her alive with the healing. Um, and also she's probably the most important piece here for what water and sun is doing. The trait on the female Selfos is controlling the opponent constantly, which is what I want so that his ability starts to go off like inevitably. Uh, although that is probably the best trait for the controlling piece that I have put together here. Of course, um, the specials on female Galabar, Bloodstorms, um, and uh, Phoenix are going to uh, also uh, be helping to get his special to go off repeatedly. So I'm hoping here I shouldn't win this one, but if the Water and Sun does what I think he's going to do, this is going to be a pretty uh, fun matchup. Let's see. I'll put it a little slower here. So we can kind of watch what's happening. All right, he's gone up once, twice. Oh my gosh, he's like a strobe light. <laughs> Look at that ridiculousness. Oh my gosh, he's just constantly going off. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic! <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, is he too good? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. But, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that, that damage! He just out damaged my two Bloodcraft Legend Champions. <laughs> like, by a lot. Not even close. And they're level 700. He's only, what, 547, I think he was? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. All right, now I'm going to go a little more controlling in this one, although it did power me down a little bit because I replaced my 
uh, Scarlet with a female hoe here, which means now I only have one level 700 and they have multiples on the other side. Uh, actually, they're 51 million power and I'm only 35, so that's about 16 million difference. Um, but I'm just going to try and control them and see if I can stay alive long enough to kind of pick them off one by one. Let's see what happens. I also moved my male water and sun into the back row to try and protect him a little bit more since they're so powerful, but they don't have a male bloom to assassinate him. So I'm just, I'm really hoping he can stay alive here. I will be really surprised if I can win this. But you don't know until you know, so you gotta try. I'm doing a lot better than I expected. <laughs> Look at this! <gasps> no way. Is it happening? Is this happening? <laughs> oh my gosh! What the heck? Unbelievable! <laughs> wow. Let's check out that uh, damage. Again, yeah, water and sun just overshadowing. Uh, man, I mean, my uh, phoenix there uh, is the only other one who's really dealing a lot of damage. But, I mean, he just is outshining the rest of the team. I'm, I have to tell you, I'm just really surprised about the sheer amount of damage he does. I'm just curious if I can go three on five here. And actually, it's going to be three on eight because they have a male bloom. So whenever he creates his clones, that could be an issue. Um, but I've brought just uh, two of my more controlling champions along with Water and Sun, uh, female Sophos for the treat. Um, also, I'm putting her up front so that she can get hit and use her ink. And I've got female Galavar, who I've put in the back. You, usually you'd want to put your tanks up front, but I'm putting her in the back because that's who I want the male Bloom to target, not my male Water and Sun. And hopefully she can stay alive. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Uh, can we do it? <laughs> can we do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. And my champions really are not like leveled more than theirs. <laughs> no way. No freaking way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is unbelievable, guys. All right, there's no way I should expect to win this one. My opponent has almost 68 million power, so I have like half of that. Um, but let's at least see what the male water and sun can do. I almost fully expect him to just die right away, but let's watch. We don't know until we know. Oh yeah, there there went the water and sun. Unfortunately, um, just got blasted. So once water and sun goes, then the rest of the team goes down. All right, how did he do? Still though, my gosh, still better than the Bloodcraft champions that are level 700. That's ridiculous. Now let's try a Valley of Conquerors matchup here. I am way outmatched as far as power goes, but I'm gonna try to just keep that healing and AOE damage going and... <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh, oh, there. There, killed my female Selfos. Might be able to come back from that. Let's see, the male water and sun is still going, and he got there! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, look at some Guild Conquest matches now. Um, this is a guy I just defeated, so I wanted to see what happened in the battle. Oh my gosh, he is 66 million power. Uh, of course, we get the power-ups from the towers and things, so I'm at 49, almost 50 million power, so it's not as big of a disparity, I think, as some of the matches we have been looking at. But, whoo, there we go again. Okay, now let's go on a rampage. Let's see, there's a guy coming up here. 
40 million power. Yeah, I should be able to take him out pretty easily. Um, okay, I'm going to take this center tower. And then I'm going to wind my way up here. And let's just take out all these teams if possible. I have no idea if I can do this. But we'll do that. Um, I'm going to speed them up. Just so you don't have to sit there and wait. Okay. All right, rampage time. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to encounter this 40 million guy first. All right, this should be no problem. We'll dispatch this team pretty quick. He's about 10, 11 million power lower than me. Boom, there it is. Next, we're rounding out to this tower, which uh, I believe this is going to be a couple of pretty easy matchups. So um, let's see what we can do here. Let's see how quickly we can win. <laughs> I think this is the tougher of the two teams that are here, too, and they just... Uh, there's just no stopping this water and sun. Oh yeah, now we got a 13 million power team. Sorry, dude. <laughs> now we're finally gonna take on a more powerful meta team here. Uh, there's a couple teams, but the first one is the tough one. All right, a little bit stronger than me, uh, but they've got uh, several of the champions you're seeing in the top teams right now. And uh, they're just no match. Goodness. Man, they even have a female choir over there, which, you know, she doesn't die. So <laughs> it's just about, like, if you can kill her before times. So that's what we got going on now. But that was their only hope in beating me was <laughs> just running out the clock. And lastly, we should dispatch this last team with no problem, too. Wow. Next up, we're going to face off against an Expedition boss, and I feel like Water and Sun is better in PvP, but let's see how he does against a boss. You can see I changed my team up here a little bit. This time I brought Fulgur in because over a long period of time, he's going to do more stuns that helps the male uh, Water and Sun out. And then I also brought Scarlet back in instead of Phoenix. She has her own kind of controlling features. So again, a very uh, controlling type of uh, team. And I'm just going to let the... I'm just going to let the auto roll. Um, there seems to be some kind of bug. I don't know if anybody else has been experiencing this, but I do on expeditions where if I try to take the auto off, I, then I can't use any of my specials. Oh my gosh. Look at that water and sun go. <laughs> it's like a freaking strobe light. Oh my gosh. He is so good. Um, I doubt we would see him do as much damage against a boss. Uh, compared to when we were in the arena. Um, but I think it's worth running this test to see. Um, you can also see how the different heroes here are like interacting with each other. He's staying kind of far back, protected, which is good. I mean, he is a mage, so he's not trying to get up in there. But um, look at the healing, too. Like, no matter what the boss is doing, uh, between female Galabar and male Water and Sun, there's just no damage being dealt to me. Goodness. Look, we're going to take the boss down just a little over a minute. And I'm at 36 million power. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, and look at that. Unbelievable. My Fulger, my male Fulger is a level 700 and he's got a good amount of vigor on him. Um, my male Water and Sun only has 14 vigor. <laughs> And look at this damage he's dealing. It's even more than the Bloodcraft champion again. It's more than Scarlet. Oh my goodness. Um, he's good. Guys, he's good. Now I'm going to take on our current raid boss. And uh, I'm going to make a couple changes here. So, I mean, I'll keep in the female Selfos. Of course, the male Water and Sun. I am going to put female Lionstone in, though. Because Strength and Speed is the name of this game. 
And I'm going to put Male Fulger in because he does have a nice stun. Um, plus, he is one of my higher damage heroes overall. Um, so with the stun and that combined, I think that's going to be really good. And I'll put Phoenix in. Um, so we have enough control elements here to get the Male Water and Sun to go off a lot. Um, but also just some of my higher damage dealers. Uh, again, I'm just going to let the auto run. Again, there, there's a bug. I'm not sure what the deal is. But um, when I try to mess with the auto setting, sometimes then I just can't fire any specials at all so I'm, I'm just not gonna mess with it I just kind of want to watch and uh, talk about what's going on here um, and taking a look at the male is he going off as much as he was um, yep <laughs> it's incredible he like always has full energy it's insane <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Look at this. Look at this insanity. <laughs> we'll see how much damage I do to this boss here. Usually when I take on raid bosses, uh, my teams are capable of getting just a little bit more than one full health bar down. Um, the opposing raid bosses start with 20 of them. Um, so we'll see what this team can do in particular. I'm really curious about how this male water and sun is stacking up to the rest of the heroes. I mean, female Lionstone and female Selfos are working together here to really power up the three big damage dealers. Um, and I honestly can't tell you who's going to come out on top. Surprisingly, my male Fulgur on raid bosses tends to be my higher damage dealer. Uh, and Phoenix is a bit behind him. Um... And then I don't have, like, I don't have my female Trevane or uh, my male Warbringer leveled high enough to really kind of compete with these guys. So let's see. Drum roll, please. All right, look at that. Wow. The Phoenix actually did a lot of damage here this time, almost up there with the male Fulgur. And uh, as I suspected, uh, the male Water and Sun is not quite as good against the bosses as PvP, like in the arena VOC. Um, or Guild Conquest, but uh, pretty darn good considering the fact that, again, uh, my male Fulgur and my Phoenix are two level 700 uh, champions with lots of vigor on them, and the male Water and Sun is not, and he's, like, right there with them. This looks like my new uh, raid boss team, and, uh, yeah, let's just see, like, when I go to Blitz, mm, yeah, that's a good amount of damage. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. <laughs> Well, folks, I think the verdict is in. The male water and sun is OP. Now, tell me in the comments, because I'm curious, how you have built your teams, what you're doing with him, and whether you think he needs a nerf or not. There's a debate going on about that. Maybe he's just the next in line and really powerful heroes, and they'll print responses to him. Or maybe they didn't intend for his special to go off uh, as frequently as it clearly is. I guess we'll find out. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I will catch you in the next one.